Welcome back to Living Local. We are inching closer to the St. Ambrose Dance Marathon. We've had the leaders behind this event on Living Local three times now to preview the fundraiser, and our anticipation has been building each time they visit our studio. It's hard to believe, but the big fundraiser is just two days away, and it's not too late for you to get involved in this celebration of life. Joining us once again in studio of Whitney Misfelt and Natalie Jones with St. Ambrose University Dance Marathon. Ladies, thanks so much for being here once again. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. Yeah, yeah, loving the hot pink t-shirts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those yeah. are amazing. <laughs> Bringing the vibrance to the studio. So oh, yeah. the big event is this Saturday. How excited are you guys? Free so excited. <laughs> Very <laughs> but excited. One of the biggest days of our lives so far. Yeah, definitely. So I know that there has been, you know, a year in, in addition to this, like leading up to this event. So what are you most proud of looking back at the year leading up to the event? Um, I would say probably what I'm most proud of is just looking back and seeing how this organization has like shaped us and all the things like we've been able to overcome and just how many miracles we've been able to make. I mean, we've had two push days so far and just being able to see like each time like we go well beyond like what our expectations of like what we were expecting to do. Right. That's Natalie, awesome. what stands out to you? Um, just being able to see people grow and see their passion grow. Um, we each have a committee and we get to see students, um, freshmen all the way to seniors, see their passion grow every single day and every event we have, seeing them realize why they dance and keep doing more and that's just the best part about it. Yeah, I'm sure that anticipation is really high right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what is your fundraising goal for this event? $270,000. Wow, $270,000 to go benefit our local Children's Miracle Network hospitals. So where exactly will those funds be going? So this year we are pledging $165,000 of our funds to fund um, equipment in the NICU at Iowa City. Wow, so we know exactly where that money is going. Yep. Um, so at the event, participants will be standing or dancing, preferably dancing, <laughs> for 13.1 hours. So what is the purpose of that? Um, so the purpose is to just kind of symbolize what kiddos go through at the hospital. Um, a lot of schools to go for 24 hours, if not more, and they go without caffeine, alcohol, um, anything like that could help like get through the day. And they go without that just so that way you can experience a little bit of what kiddos go through. Obviously, it's not the same, but it just kind of helps you realize how hard it is for them. Why do you think it's important to generate that empathy? Because I'm just thinking like, Oh my gosh, no coffee for that amount of time. How would I handle that? But it is so important and you're right. It's not we have no idea what it's like to be in their shoes, but it does give you just a, you know, a little bit of an idea. So why do you think it's important? So at the end of the day, like so you're up on your feet all day. You don't sit, you stand. And at the end of the day, your feet hurt and like you don't get to give up your battle because the kids can't give up theirs. So at the end of the day, your feet hurt, but your heart's really full. Right, I think that is absolutely wonderful. So you'll have 30 of the 42 Miracle families at the event. Why is it important that they're there to experience it all? It gives you a cause connection, um, especially for people who have never been to a big event before. A lot of the time they go into the day and they're not quite sure what to expect. So our families go up on stage and they share their stories and they share personally like how these funds that we're raising have impacted their lives. So it's not just like, oh, the money is going somewhere. It's like this money has specifically impacted these families that are there. Definitely. I think that's so nice to see that connection there, just right there. And don't let the no caffeine <laughs> for 13 hours scare you away. There are going to be so many fun activities to distract people and get them engaged. Uh, walk us through what those are going to be. Um, so throughout the day, we have really like a lot of fun things. We have Zumba. We have a salsa man coming to teach everyone salsa. Um, we have massages from our PT students. So if you raised over $250, you get to get a massage for 15 minutes so you get to take a, a little seat there and get to relax for a bit and just realize that this is hard but you can keep going um, we also have uh, family talks so every hour a family will talk about their story and you get to learn more about why you're doing this and why you're here and then we're also going to have therapy dogs there and there's just a lot going on every hour of the day wow there's a little <laughs> bit of something for everyone a lot yeah. of variety for entertainment yeah. so the event starts at 11 a.m and ends at midnight and that's when you're going to reveal how much money has been raised so Take me there. You're there. <laughs> you're right about to reveal the number. Like, what's the anticipation like in the room? So that's like the climax of the entire day. That's mm -hmm. what you've been working for all year. And that's when you see everyone gather together in the room and you, you just feel it. And you watch everybody just experience this moment of like, this is like what we're like doing. 
this is like the number that we're going for. And no matter what the number is at the end of the day, like it's amazing, like how many miracles like you're able to make. Now, is it too late for people to get involved or help support this mission? Absolutely mm -hmm. not. They can still go ahead and donate and you guys can actually come to the big event. Um, if you want to come, you can pay $10 and you can go around and see everything that's going on and really enjoy what we do and see kind of how this organization impacts students. And then they can also donate at saudm.org to help us reach that $270,000. We can do it. It takes <laughs> yeah. the community, but I know that we can do it here in the Quad Cities, ladies. It has been such a pleasure to meet with you guys several different times leading up to this. I cannot believe it's already this weekend. I'm sure you guys are all freaking out, but I'm so excited for you guys and I'm so excited for you guys to hit your goal because I know it's going to happen. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to donate to the Dance Marathon Big Event, you can go to saudm.org. We'll have these details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local dances on after this.